Hello everybody and welcome to Critical Rocket with a new mech video! Today we're kicking off with the December 13th patch that added the Marauder 2C in all of its newly redesigned glory. Not the original uh, Victor Musical Industries version, I uh, recommend you check that out over at Sana. And uh, it's a 85 ton assault mech that is the clan variant of the classic Marauder, which is a 75 ton heavy, so extra 10 tons on top. Basically the Marauder 2C is just a buttload of energy hard points. They're everywhere. Head, CT, left torso, right torso, both arms. I mean, outside of the legs, it's it's energied up. You don't, you couldn't get more energy than what this mech has got. Uh, that's the standard 2C, and the only other legitimate version is the uh, 2C-8, which is uh, a early adopter's reward mech, so you won't have that if you bought the pack after their cutoff point for that promotion. And it's essentially a version of it, again with a lot of energy, but it has a missile hardpoint. So that's the main difference. So basically, Marauder 2Cs, and there's a lot of them in this video on my team, I think with myself included there might have been 5 or 6, um, is really, really fucking powerful for energy hardpoints. Uh, stock build, as I was shown in the mech lab earlier, is 2 medium pulses, 3 ER PPCs, and uh, 4 ER smalls. It can obviously be modified, because being a 2C you can modify the engine and you can change the upgrades if you want, although I don't know why you would. Uh, so you can switch up to XL engines if you want to free up some weight. It can go obviously a bit quicker than it normally can, and I wouldn't be surprised if most people start messing around with the energy hardpoint composition anyway. The 3 ER PPCs are incredibly hot, especially being clan, and uh, the rest of the weapons are fine. I could see this being a fucking evil pulse mech or some kind of large pulse carrier or whatever it's going to be but it, it's going to hurt. Coming up against a Marauder 2C is not going to be a pleasant experience front on. You're definitely going to want to try and catch this bugger out at uh, some kind of height advantage or possibly being able to get around the sides of it or being in another Marauder 2C or a bigger mech. Outside of that it suffers obviously from the standard Marauder issues, uh, which if you've played it you're aware of. Uh, it has one high mounted energy hardpoint, unlike the Marauder's Ballistic, uh, but it does have very low slung arms. It's quite low to the ground, so you have to make sure that when you are firing you're in pretty open terrain and that your target isn't going to be obscured too much. So um, yeah, essentially it's it's everything the meta is all about currently, uh, which, is, which is energy. Um, it's not a bad mech if you were looking for another assault mech, if that's your, if that's your thing. It's it's not a bad mech to choose. Uh, it wouldn't surprise me if it ends up becoming a, a firm favourite with a few people out there who are, are very big into making things with ER larges, that kind of thing. And um, yeah, it's going to be a deadly sniper across the map. Tons of armour that you can mess around with. Uh, the only downside obviously doesn't have jump jets, but Christ, you can't have everything when you've already got all of this. Uh, the 2C also has an AMS uh, hardpoint which is available, it's not stock, uh, but it is available. And uh, the mech here shown in this video is completely untouched. I haven't, I haven't messed with the engine or the armour or the heat sinks. it's literally how it comes out of the box. Now, that out of the way, I would recommend the Marauder 2C. It's, it, it is worth it, compared to... A couple of my previous reviews where people made things like, oh, am I a bit down on it? No, um, it just I didn't think the linebacker in that was really worth it. It's a good mech, but I just don't know if it was worth the $20. Marauder 2C, however, is, yeah, it is kind of what a lot of people would like to play, I imagine. And even I like it, to be honest. I, it's very straightforward. The build is, is fine, and it's incredibly flexible with its customization. And from looking at the 2CA and the 2CB, although they're not legitimate, they're not canon versions of the mech, uh, they do have uh, lots of potential. They also have more hard points, ballistic and missile wise, so you can even make a few more traditional Marauder type builds with the clan technology. Right, so this video, uh, if you haven't guessed, is escort mode. Now, uh, anyone who's a regular on my uh, stream will know that I used to do an escort game type, uh, where one of uh, the uh, people with us, uh, or Davros and myself, uh, would be the escort target and we'd go in an atlas and you would only uh, be able to walk to a location that the person who was the VIP would designate beforehand and they had to survive and the other players had to defend them and the other team obviously had to kill him to win and it was quite fun. Now PGI's announcement of it was kind of funny but at the same time uh, kind of interesting and this is the result 
As you can see here, this Atlas, which is for some reason a crash test dummy Atlas, the paint scheme, I'm not quite sure, is an AI and it is wandering around the map. What really confused me about this is we're on Polar Highlands. This mech has walked from the spawn and is now doubling back toward our spawn to leave the map. I don't know if this is intentional, I don't know whether there's some kind of procedural generation of location. Uh, I didn't do a lot of damage because I really didn't see many targets. I was working on doing my job, which was escorting the Atlas, and the Atlas pretty much walked away from the enemy team, and it's got ECM, so the other team didn't know where it was at all times. This awesome uh, spotted it and got a few shots in, but then he died, and I think the Ember might have seen him but couldn't lock him. So that was it. The rest of the video is now just really fucking weird. Um, just this Atlas now wandering back, and they've got this horrendous voiceover this, of some guy who sounds like he's got a really, really terrible case of laryngitis who's just sort of like going, The dropship is about to arrive at the location! Defend the VIP! I don't know why people in the Mech Warrior on Battletech Universe apparently speak like this. I'm not I'm not sure who this who this person is, but he's, he sounds very upset at all times. Um, so yeah, I mean, th this is it. This, as you can see in the mode, you've got the health of the Atlas uh, broken down into its constituent parts. Uh, CT, arms, side torsos, head and all that. Um, at the top of the screen, so you can have an idea of what kind of state it's in. Uh, the defending team have turrets, which you can see a few of. Uh, there's a line of defensive turrets about midway across the map, and it, yeah, the, I, I don't get it, I'm, I'm lost for words. I don't know why they programmed it, so it would basically just do a big U-shape and walk back toward our spawn, because that's all that's happened here. The Atlas could have taken a 90 degree right turn and walked to that square from our spawn, the other team would never have seen him. I was under the impression that the idea in the mode was that it walked from point A to B across the map. And the idea was that the attacking team had to find him, fix him, and kill him. This seems to suggest that the attacking team have to be hyper-aggressive, like they have to charge through and stay on your side of the map. Now, this, admittedly this is the only time I've dropped in this mode, but this is an initial impression of the mode isn't looking too good. I mean, you can see the dropship there. It, that's it. I've seen two mechs on the other team, and there's plenty of kills going on. In fact, I think by the end of it, they have 10 to 8 kills. So they actually have more mechs wandering around, but they haven't got a clue where the Atlas has gone. And given the size of Polar, that isn't a good thing. Um, I'll have to play more rounds of Escort, but I'd be interested in hearing if anyone else has had weird issues where this AI has just wandered off. I I'm guessing it's some kind of procedural system, and it just picks a spot on the map, and it's going to walk there, it's going to navigate to that point. But yeah, I mean, th this video is uh, getting close to wrapping up now. Um, so yeah, I'm going to play a bit more escort mode and I'll give uh, more opinions on uh, on my stream uh, on the Friday. Outside of that, uh, Marauder 2C is a, is a good mech, uh, especially if you're a clanner, you're going to love it. Uh, if you're on the fence, you could pick up the $20 one. Hey, it's Christmas, maybe you can ask someone for it. And, uh, yeah, um, I, I like the new mech. I'm a bit perplexed by the new mode. <laughs> so, it'll be interesting to see whether this is a common occurrence or not. But um, thanks for watching, everybody. I uh, hope you have a good week. And I'll uh, see you uh, for some chassis videos or the stream or something else. But I'll see you around. So, uh, thanks for watching, everyone. Crystal Rocket, signing out.